OpenAI just dropped their new text to video generator called Sora, and the results are like nothing we've ever seen before. Here's a shot right here. Here's the prompt. A stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon and animated city signage. First of all, I mean, what what is happening here? This is just like a year ago, Will Smith eating spaghetti looked just like a monstrosity. And now we're getting this. Now it says that it can generate up to 60 seconds of video from a single text prompt. And I don't know what's happening here. We're cutting between shots. Is this just the, uh, the AI deciding to tell a story? Is that what's happening here? Or was this actually directed and cut together? We don't know because this thing is locked down. This is not available to the public yet. I mean, this is insane. Look at the way the water rolls up the, the waves here. An animated scene features a close-up of a short fluffy monster kneeling beside a melting red candle. The art style is 3D and realistic with a focus on lighting and texture. His hands kind of uh, got a little candle in it. So there's definitely some um, mistakes for sure. It's not perfect, but you know, one thing I noticed right off the bat is the speed. We're used to, uh, with the AI videos, we're used to everything being in slow motion. And this clearly is not unless they just sped it up. This is 40 seconds, so it's not 2x because they said that it can go 60 seconds to the max. So what is this? A photorealistic close-up video of two pirate ships battling each other as they sail inside a cup of coffee. Prompt, that's a young man in his 20s is sitting on a piece of a cloud in the sky reading the book. I mean, this dude looks like stock footage. It looks like stock. I mean, other than him sitting on the cloud, I guess with this, you can generate some pretty realistic stock footage. So as you can see right here, it's not available yet to the public, but they're granting access to a number of visual artists, designers, and filmmakers. Speaking of filmmaking, look at this shot. Prompt, historical footage of California during the gold rush. The way, this is like an aerial shot, uh, like a drone shot the way it's moving through here. And then it does this cinematic camera move at the end, turning around. I mean, it would cost millions of dollars to shoot this as an establishing shot for a film or a TV show. The set, the actors, the horses, everything involved in that. And now AI is just crafting it off of this prompt right here. What is that, eight words? And you're getting this. Now, I think that they are there's controls in it to tell it what to do as far as the uh, the cinematic camera move at the end. Close up view of a glass sphere that has a Zen garden within it. Yeah, this is insane. Extreme close up of a 24 year old woman's eye blinking. This is this is nuts. This is a giant step forward for AI video. You know, I saw some uh, some people on X uh, talking about how in the next like six to eight weeks, everything was going to change. And I feel like they were talking about this. It must be. Prompt, a cartoon kangaroo disco dances. You could, I mean, this is something it could be like, you know, a low budget Pixar. Oh, here's another one. A beautiful homemade video showing the people of Lagos, Nigeria in the year 2056 shot with a mobile phone camera. Look at these people. Look at how real they look. Well, not, he doesn't look that real. But this whole camera move has to be directed. Like the, the level of control in there is crazy. And the background is, there's morphing, sure. You know, it's not perfect, but for these kinds of moves at these, at this speed, not in slow motion, this is, this is blows everything else out of the water. Everything else that we've been doing with Runway, Pika, Crea, all of these other programs is nothing like this. I've already seen comments like, oh, they're cherry picking. Dude, be that as it may, what do the bad ones look like? I mean, up to 60 seconds from a prompt, we get four seconds of a prompt with, with things like runway, and then you have to extend it for another four seconds. Prompt, a petri dish with a bamboo forest growing in it uh, that has tiny red pandas running around. Yeah, all right, that's pretty cool. The camera rotates around a large stack of vintage televisions, all showing different programs. Now, this is interesting because in the prompt, here's the first time I'm seeing a camera direction and the camera's not really even kind of doing it. It's very slowly rotating. But what about the camera moves in the other shots, like the Western? 
Sora is able to generate complex scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motion, and accurate details of the subject and background. This is nuts. Look at this. The camera follows behind a white vintage SUV with a black roof rack as it speeds up a steep dirt road surrounded by pine trees on a steep mountain slope. I mean, this, this looks like it was just, oh, uh, wait a minute. Dandover? Dandover? It's supposed to be Land Rover, right? Dude. All right, you, you're telling me that we can get video results like this now, this kind of complexity, but we still can't do words? That's very interesting. Reflections in the window of a train traveling through the Tokyo suburbs. No way. Look at this. Look at when it lands on her face right here. That is crazy. I mean, this is insane. A drone camera circles around a beautiful historic church built on a rocky outcropping along the Amalfi Coast. I think, you know, establishing shots for TV shows and film, not going to need them anymore. So you just have AI do it. I mean, you know, we're still six months to a year away from that, I guess. But think about a student filmmaker these days. I went to film school back in the day. I mean, now I can open up a film with something like this and then just cut to a close up at a cat outdoor cafe at a table with two people talking. The production value that this adds for that kind of uh, those kinds of shoots is just ridiculous. A large orange octopus is seen resting on the bottom of the ocean floor, and it's apparently it's fighting a crab. Is that in the prompt? The octopus is unaware of a king crab that is crawling toward it from behind a rock. Its claws raised and ready to attack. Look at the tentacles, the movement in the tentacles. I mean, this this is extremely complex. You've got an octopus so eight tentacles and then a king crab you've got 16 different appendages moving going on here this is astonishing this is my first time seeing any of this stuff a flock of paper airplanes flutter through a dense jungle weaving around trees as if they were migrating birds pretty cool pretty cool a cat waking up its sleeping owner demanding breakfast oh wow well, her face just kind of Oh, that's funny. Her face like is reacting to the paw on her nose. Yeah, it looks kind of messed up right there, you know, but uh, still. And his paws, yeah, he's got an extra paw. I mean, these are still the best looking mistakes that I've ever seen with AI video. A Chinese Lunar New Year celebration video with Chinese dragons. Look at the background. All these different people moving. I mean, you just don't see all the morph. This is this is on a completely different level. It's safe to say that everything just changed. And if you're going to ask me what if I know what the implications of this are, yes, I do know what the implications of this are. We are soon going to be inundated with video that looks like this with no story. Because right now, this is exceptional. But the novelty of this is going to wear off and we're going to be left with a bunch of AI video and I can see it now. It's going to be on X, just people posting the video. This is AI. This is AI. That novelty is going to wear off quickly. But who can take this and combine this with a story? Because story is still absolutely the most important element. The story will always outlast the technology. The technology will change forever. It is mind blowing visually, but I mean, this is just a tool. This is not going to replace the story. My mind is just spinning with all the things that uh, we can do with this, but still, this is a tool, a great tool that will serve storytelling. That's all it is. A litter of golden retriever puppies playing in the snow. Their heads pop out of the snow. Cute. Very cute puppies. The current model has weaknesses. It may struggle with accurately simulating the physics of a complex scene. Who cares? I mean, this is leaps and bounds ahead. Like. Tell me if somebody, if you just saw that and didn't know it was AI, you would think it was um, just regular video footage. Prompt, step printing scene of a person running. Cinematic film shot in 35 millimeter. Sure. Five gray wolf puppies frol, oh well, yeah. There's, they're kind of just morphing in and out of each other, but it still looks cool. Um, like I said, these are the best looking mistakes I've ever seen. A basketball through a hoop then explodes. All right, let's see this. Wow. Oh, and another one appeared. Magic. An example of inaccurate physical modeling and unnatural object morphing. I mean, it captures the shadow. Look at the, when the ball bounces off the rim. 
it gets covered in the shadow of the backboard. I mean, so the lighting is just is changing with it. I am very curious how long each video generation takes. Archaeologists discover a generic plastic chair in the desert, excavating and dusting it with great care. Here's the weakness. Sora fails to model the chair as a rigid object, leading to inaccurate physical interactions. Oh, look, it's walking. Yeah. There it goes. It's alive. So they pull the chair out of the sand. It actually looks pretty cool, though. And now it's like floating, and now it's got a mind of its own, and now it's alive. A grandmother with neatly combed gray hair stands behind a colorful birthday cake with numerous candles at a wood dining room table. Uh, come on, Grandma, you can blow those candles out. Take a deep breath. Get your oxygen tank. Come on. <laughs> uh, this is crazy. What's the weakness? Simulating complex interactions between objects and multiple characters is often challenging for the model, sometimes resulting in humorous generations. Yep. Safety. Okay. They're worried about safety. That's good. Somebody has to be. The camera directly faces colorful buildings in Burano, Italy, an adorable Dalmatian, wow, oh, nimble Dalmatian, looks through a window on a building on the ground floor. Many people are walking and cycling along the canal streets in front of the buildings. Where this dog steps, even, his paws, like he looks down and it does a really good job of where he puts his feet, like it understands where the ledge is. That's pretty nuts. An adorable, happy otter. But look, Oter. I mean, how is it? I don't understand why it's so hard to get the uh, words right. Got a lot of toes too. So still, we're seeing, you know, words and fingers. Digits are so hard, yet we're seeing these crazy advancements in, in all these other aspects. A corgi vlogging itself in tropical Maui. This thing looks so realistic. Oh, and a seagull just flew through and then disappeared. A white and orange tabby cat is seen happily darting through a dense garden as if chasing something. This is a 27 second long clip of a cat on the prowl. Nuts. Aerial view of Santorini looks beautiful. No people though. I don't see any people in this one. That's all right. Tilt shift of a construction site filled with workers, equipment, and heavy machinery. That absolutely, I like the uh, tilt shift look. A giant towering cloud in the shape of a man looms over the earth. Whoa. The cloud man shoots lightning bolts down to the earth. Look, it just came up with like a brand new IP. Damn. Cloud Hulk. In addition to being able to generate a video solely from text instructions, the model is able to take an existing still image and generate a video from it, animating the image's contents with accuracy and attention to small detail. So that's image to video. So I wonder which of those videos we watched actually started with an image. They all had text prompts, but I wonder, you know, if they started with an image too. And that could be a reason for why they look so good. This is a game changer. I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, look at these puppies. So freaking adorable. This is, this is going to change everything, guys. Hit subscribe and like the video if you like this content. Thanks for watching. And like always, I'll see you in the future.